Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and I wanted to show you the bright spots in what is this down market that we've all been dealing with, and um, I, I'm sorry, I'm just now doing a video today because I have been dealing with both basketball and baseball with my two sons, and uh, had some family in town, and so now I'm here and ready to talk about crypto and XRP. Um, this tweet here, now I wanted to show you these first two things as a backdrop to what you're seeing on the retail side when you look at these uh, sites like CoinMarketCap and all of them. Um, while you're looking at that and while you're getting depressed about the market, <clears throat> here's what's really going on uh, and where the stage is really being set. This is a tweet, <clears throat> Pantera Capital is one of the largest venture capital firms in the blockchain. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's one of the largest venture capital firms in the blockchain space. And Pan Pantera is also an investor in Ripple. And they tweeted this out uh, about venture investment in blockchain and how it's gone up in 2018. And they show you um, the uh, deal count is this number here. It's gone up to 384 from 2000 to, from 211 in 2017 to 384 in 2018. And the capital invested, you can see how the capital invested has just blasted off. So my point, and I wanted to show you this, this is venture capital firms that are socking money away in blockchain while everybody, while, you, while you're reading all the articles about how scary it is and how it's a Ponzi scheme, and Muriel Rabini is is um, calling us all swamp dwellers or whatever he calls us. Meanwhile, the smart money is coming in at record paces. Not just there. It's not just blockchain companies, but the institutional investors are sneakily entering the crypto market. This is from October, this article here. But I just wanted to, you to hear one quote. This is the CEO of Circle, which is which is funded partially by Goldman Sachs. We've seen triple digit growth enrolling in our OTC business. That's a big growth area. So in the over the counter market, these got people are buying digital assets left and right. And we've also seen from Ripple itself, the over the counter sales in the quarterly, the last quarterly report had gone up tremendously uh, for Ripple of XRP. And you don't see that in the retail market. But I wanted to show you that just to illustrate the point. What matters is not what you see here for now. I mean, these are short term things. At some point, all of these things are going to meet and you're going and everything is going to be very transparent about what all this really looks like. And you're and at some point, Wall Street's going to start waving the flag. It's all safe to come in. And I've been telling you that. OK, moving along. The, what I want to show you is the things that are important, the, what's going on in this day-to-day -day market stuff that is not relevant to what's coming and what is really happening behind the scenes and how huge all of this is. This is a tweet from Brad Garlinghouse yesterday at Lagarde. He's talking about uh, Lagarde, the uh, IMF. Uh, I don't remember what her position title is, but anyway, she's the head of the IMF, Christine L Lagarde. Um, is she's absolutely correct. Money itself is changing. Digital assets not only help to solve the financial inclusion problem, but also the very real issue of a fractured global payment system. It's ju it just makes sense that central banks would lean in. And this he's referring to this article. And um, this is an article. At least 15 central banks are serious about getting into digital currency. Now, for those of you who are the people that are always, oh, well, that doesn't mean they're going to go into XRP. Well, don't ever forget the interledger protocol because that is Ripple's. And Ripple, as uh, I think DM Logic, this is one of the things that he always says, um, 
just about any rock in the financial world that you look under, Ripple is underneath it. And if you start looking underneath these central bank rocks, Ripple is there when you look under many, many of them. And so Ripple is in the game. It's in the game more than any digital asset in the world, period. Just do your Google searches. Just name a central bank, and I'll bet you that at least one out of every three of your searches, at a minimum, Ripple will come up in association somehow with that central bank. Do that exercise today and make your weekend. Okay, moving along. Um, now, this, I'm making a prediction today. I'm officially coming out with a prediction today. I'm, I've been reading between the lines enough, okay? And I know, hey, I've been here. I know how many times Coinbase has been arrogant and has disappointed everyone, everyone with regard to XRP. But based on what I'm looking at today and what I'm about to show you, I think Coinbase is in a really bad spot. And I think that as many of us in the XRP community have said, I believe that XRP is going to be the Coinbase lifeline. And yes, I do predict today you know, Coinbase is doing this 12 days of Christmas. The digital asset investor predicts today that Coinbase is going to list XRP in the next 12, however many days are left in their 12 days of Christmas. I predict that because I think that Coinbase knows that that is the one thing that they could do that would ignite maybe the, maybe a bull run for the entire market, but it, at least it would ignite Coinbase's bottom line, and I want to show you. This article is uh, is from uh, well, who's uh, Ethereum World News? Why Coinbase needs XRP now more than ever. And I was I was just uh, going through here, and I came across uh, this part. Coinbase needs XRP now more than ever, and it they, it says here it's no secret that the crypto bear market is hurting not only uh, individual traders and investors but also ICOs and crypto exchanges. The trade volume of Coinbase has decreased by 80%, 80% since the last bull run of December 2017 and 2018. This is according to an August 2018 report by Dyer. Well, I'm going to come back to this report because this report, uh, normally I wouldn't click on things in an article like this, but I just happened to click on this. And I think it'll be very eye-opening for you like it was for me. But first, I wanted to scroll down a little further. Basically, they're saying that Coinbase needs XRP. They need it, that XRP could ignite uh, their business, for one thing, but potentially ignite the next bull run. because, And it's because everybody knows XRP is the one. I mean, XRP is Nemo, like in, uh, I think, it, I, I, you know, I just said, I think I said Nemo. I can't remember if um, the character in uh, the movie, um, <laughs> what, why am I drawing a blank on the, the movie with, uh, uh, not Kiefer Sutherland, but the movie with, um, anyway, God, I always draw blanks right when I need to tell you guys something. Uh, no, it wasn't Nemo. I, I made it, my kid was watching Nemo the other day. It was Neo. Neo was the character uh, played by um, I can't remember the guy that was in Point Break. But anyway, you're all going to remind me. I know. But anyway, Neo was the one in in the uh, movie that where he, where they all were wearing black and everything. But you all know what I'm talking about. But moving along, um, this uh, totally lost my train of thought. XRP is NEO. It's the one, and they know it. They've always known it. Well, I wanted to scroll down here and show you an, kind of the re, part of the reason that I think that we're at this point. A, it is Coinbase's business. Their business is is really has really been hurt by all this, and they have to be getting a tremendous amount of pressure from investors. But like I've shown you in, over the last few days, now. Coinbase is literally beginning to be made fun of for how pathetic what they've done listing half of these coins that are all uh, ERC tokens and all of this. And now a lot of the this ERC tokens are, are a lot of those are having are ICOs now and are literally having to be taken off the market. And meanwhile, all they're doing is listing you see uh, the uh, the uh, Ethereum tokens. 
And so C3 Nick is now in full throttle making fun of them. And he made this article. Uh, they added him to this article. I've been looking forward to the next amazing announcement by Coinbase. Now supporting PayPal withdrawals only and watch lists. Today is going to be amazing. They will top this craziness somehow. I'm still rooting for the addition of chocolate coin. And so these guys, it's not, but it's bad enough that, that their business is down by 80%. But now they're just literally being made fun of. And the truth is they deserve it. But Coinbase can totally redeem themselves. And I, I'm making the prediction today, and you'll see it in this chart. I'm making the prediction today that Coinbase redeems themselves by adding XRP this December in the next 10 days. That's my prediction. We'll find out if I'm wrong. And this is, this is the real reason why. I want to show you this. Coinbase, it says they're trading, uh, this is from Dyer, I believe they said, Coinbase, U.S. dollar, they're trading volume is down 83%. Binance gets 21% uptake, uh, uptick on major cryptocurrencies versus June 18th. Bitstamp is down 73%. OKX hits new record in July. Kraken suffered the least with 17 listed cryptocurrencies. Tokens, numbers, by... All right, now look at this. This is what's important. Bitstamp and Coinbase, who were hurt the worst, 73% for Bitstamp and Coinbase, 83%. They were hurt the worst, and they were hurt the worst because they have the least trading pairs. These exchanges with all of the trading pairs that are giving their customers options that their customers, in other words, they've been listening to their customers while Coinbase is not. I have not been following Bitstamp. But Coinbase now says they want to listen to their customers. This is what listening to your customer gets you versus this. And this is why these guys are going to, they're going to list XRP and they're going to do it in the next 10 days. And when they do, I'm not saying it will ignite a bull run, but I'm saying it's very likely that it could because it's so long in the making. And there, and there have been so many times that, that uh, this has been rumored and didn't happen. And, and there's a good chance also that, that it'll do nothing and it won't, won't affect the market at all. But the point is, and I, I will keep saying it, I know a lot of you hate Coinbase and all that, but I will keep saying it from a liquidity standpoint, Coinbase is still a player in the game as far as being liquid enough for, uh, to get, especially in the, in the United States, to get out of the crypto markets. And they, they are e they work with the banks more easily than a lot of companies out there. And for that reason, Coinbase is still in the game, even if you hate them. I'm sorry to say it, but they are. I want to finish by telling you, showing you this. This is from Bon Crip at B O N C R Y P. Um, he's a really active XRP community member. He sent me this Ripple XRP now accepted by hashtag hotel uh, booking platform at Travelcom, so go follow these guys and support them. Uh, Traveler, one of the most important hotel bookings platforms in the crypto ecosystem, added official support for XRP as a payment option. So go follow them and support them, and even if you don't plan on buying anything with XRP, go book some things with them. They're a part, they're on the team. Um, I'm the digital asset investor, I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that the digital asset investors said that Coinbase will add XRP in the month, in this month of December. I'm putting my neck out. Thanks for listening.